The following is based on a true story. This is the last time I helped you out, man. It's the last time. I'm sorry, Chris. He would have killed me. What's that? Oh, it was, it was nothing. It was nothing. Well, you better put some of that on your eye, too. What did you run into? Uh, Billy Barstow. Oh, that was real bright. Uh, what's it gonna be, Dad? Well, you know, uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you the truth, I have not made up my mind yet. And I still haven't talked to your mother. You know what she's going to say? Well, you know, your mother has certain expectations of you, son. I'm not going to college. 
You know that. I know that. Then maybe you better tell me. What happened? Oh, Billy Barstow. Again? Jack, I want you to call his parents. Mom. This has gone on long enough. You know what my life would be like if you talked to his parents. He's right. Dad, will you tell her? Tell her. Um, you know, Chris went down to the Marine Corps recruiting office yesterday, and he got a consent form there for me to sign. To do what? I went out of here, Mama. I went down there and I, I talked to him, and, and they said that they got these programs that I could join, you know, I... I... That doesn't make any sense. You're 17 years old. You're still in high school. Well, you can get a high school equivalency in the Marine Corps. Honey, this is your home. You have your friends here, family. Mama, I don't want to grow up being one of the good old boys. This town has nothing to offer but more Billy Barstow's. And I'm going to end up driving back and forth through this damn valley on my way to nowhere. I'm sorry, Mama. This is something I got to do. Throwing away his future. Do you think his future is a doctor or a lawyer? Honey, our son is just an average youngster, no more, no less. He had a future. And he still does. Marine Corps give him a chance to grow up, find out about himself. Then he can create his own future. He can't go if you don't sign that paper. And he will resent us for it and join up anyway as soon as he turns 18. He has everything he needs here. Maybe that's the problem. He's a young man, Mary. Young men need to be let go of. He wants his freedom, and I understand that. Well, wanting your freedom is one thing. Knowing what to do with it is something else again. I never stood in your way. I never said you did. made me proud. Not like it's forever. Well, in a way it is, you know. I suppose you'd have to have a child of your own to understand that. 
you just remember how much I love you and that you have a home here. Always. That is waiting. Mama sent you a cake. It was delicious. Tell her thanks. Come on, Junior. We got better treats waiting for you. Listen and learn, Junior. Ma'am, I know just how you feel. How's that? Well, after a long day's march, my feet are just begging for a little tender love and care. And I bet that uh, after your shift tonight, we can make ourselves feel a whole lot better. I just love a man in uniform. So I'll tell you what. You keep yours on, and I won't report you to your principal. That'll be 350. <sighs> the change. <laughs> but you are cute. You're cute. Yeah, you are cute. Thanks for the lesson. Stand up. Oh. Yeah. I'm Charlene. My friends call me Dusty. I'm Chris. Would you like to ask me to dance, Chris? Me? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure. You lead. Damn near jail, baby. So, what do you mean, jail, Pate? Oh, that's, uh. There's nothing. This is just a little joke. It's my birthday today. Mm hmm. How old are you? How old do you want me to be? Um, I'm 24. 
I would say you're 18. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Does that bother you? Turn out fine. I just hope it's gonna be big enough. Mama, I thought Jack was gonna cut down that tree. He'll get to it. Jack don't get to much anything unless he's pushed. You gotta push him, daughter. Oh my God, he's here. Mama, go get Jack, he's here. He's here. He's here. Heaven's sake, why is he knocking? Hi, Mama. I'd like you to meet my wife, Dusty. Hi. She's very attractive. Sure. I can't take her anywhere without all the guys staring at her. And you like that? Mary. Just asking. So why didn't you call or at least write or something? I uh, know. No, I'm sorry about that. It's just, it happened so fast. Isn't she a little old for you? Well, who is she? Where'd she come from? Who's her family? Mary, it's done. We may not be happy about it right now, but she seems like a nice enough young lady, and I think we owe it to Chris to welcome her into our family. Excuse me. Thanks, Dad. Mama. I'll try. I'm just a little shell-shocked.
Yes. Oh, oh. Supper is ready if you're so inclined. Now, you take on the wind. I ain't saying it's a bad movie. I mean, hell, I've seen it five or six times, but it's, uh, what do they call it? Fantasy? It's fantasy. Honey, pass the piece. Mm. It's an insult to the coloreds. Coloreds? Mm -hmm. I don't believe we use that particular term anymore. Well, that's my point, actually. Your point? <clears throat> So, you, uh, you got away, huh? That sounds more like a vacation than a tour of duty. Sure, I mean, you uh, Southerners, you change the terms, but not the attitude, you know what I mean? I can't say as I do. We were under the impression that you were a Southerner yourself. Oh, no, sir. I abandoned that notion a long time ago. I got family in Ada, Oklahoma now. I like to consider that my home. We like to call it Southwest. Chris, honey, why don't you join me in the backyard for some coffee? Daddy and Dusty will do the dishes. Well, anything to get out of the dishes. Don't you go breaking anything. Mm. It's your daddy's heart. got into you. Stop it, Mama. Before it's too late. It's already too late. I love her. She's the first woman you ever slept with. What kind of question is that? You're 18 years old. Some woman takes you to bed and you're like a hound in heat. I understand that. Why the hell you had to marry, I'll never know. I've got my reasons, Mama. But you're too damn stubborn to listen to them. That's right, I am stubborn. When it comes to you and your future, I am the most stubborn woman you will ever find. My future is my decision. That's something you've never understood. You've never once, not once, asked me for my opinion of it. She's the first woman who's ever treated me like I was a man. Being a man between the sheets is easy. I've heard enough. I have tried. God knows I have tried to instill in you some passion for your possibilities. I love you more than life itself. You are the one blessing God has granted me. And you will always be welcome here. But I will not have that woman in my home again. Well, that's just fine, Mother Mary. I was saving the blessed news for the right time. And I do believe this is the right time. How would you, uh, civilized, hospitable Southerners put it? I'm a child. And, uh, since you just closed your door to me, well, you just closed your door to your grandchild, too. Come on, honey, we're getting the hell out of here. Honey? She his? When? Oh my god, now? Now? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, okay. Cover for me. Oh. Volunteer services? Oh, uh, yeah, just a minute. Mary, it's for you. Yes, Mary Brown speaking. Mama, it's me. Chris? Oh, my God, it's Chris. Honey, are you all right? I'm uh, fine, Mama. Oh, how I have prayed to hear your voice. Uh, look, Mama, I, I got some news for you. 
your grandma. What? Tara Christine Brown was born all six pounds, eight ounces of her at 9.15 this morning. Uh, Grandma! Oh, honey, uh, I'm on my way out. I I'll just make a reservation. I'll call you as oh, soon as... Well, Mama, I ain't sure that's such a good idea right now. What do you mean? Well, it's just that it, it ain't the best idea. Something wrong with the baby? Oh, no, no, not at all. It's, uh... Well, it's dusty, you know. Uh, she probably wouldn't like it. You give me some time to work on it. Chris. Look, I'll work on it, okay? I'm happy for you, son. Thanks, Mama. Bye. No way I'm ever gonna see that grandbaby. Any objections? Oh, stop it, Chris. She could have drowned, Dusty. I was just having a little fun. You were supposed to be watching her. Vince and I were about to come what? out of the water. You were in there for half an hour. What was I supposed to do, just sit around all no, day? No, you pick up the baby, you bring her down to the water, you yell at me to get out, and I'll get out. You don't leave the baby alone. She was asleep. No, she was playing in the water while you were playing pincushion to a bunch of damn horny marines. We was playing football. Oh, is that what you've been doing with him, huh? What are you talking about? Hmm? Forget it. No, Chris. What are you, what are you throwing at me? Oh, it ain't what I'm throwing at you, sweetheart. It's what you've been throwing around. You're a crazy man, you know that? Half the damn Marine base knows where you spend your free time. It is free, isn't it, or you start to charge for that? I don't have to stand here and listen to this crap. I'm not through with you. Through? <laughs> Darling, you can't even get it started anymore. <sighs> Baby, I'm sorry. Nope. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Yeah. Dusty. Dusty, it's Mary. May I speak to Chris, please? We're asleep. Dusty, please. I just want to talk to him. Well, I'll tell him you called, if I remember. Hey! Huh? What's going on? I'm watching the kids. Watching her? She's filthy. Who are you? Where's my wife? Well, look, she just asked me if I wanted to make a couple of bucks. Get out of here. Hey, I've already been here two hours, so you owe now. me. Now! That's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Got to get you cleaned up. Summers. He's mine. Oh, that ain't been settled yet. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hank, can I um, get us some acid? <laughs> First, I want a drink. First, I want a drink. Bobby, get me a drink. Damn right you're moving out, but you're not taking my daughter with you. We'll see about that. decided that it's for the best. Chris is here on emergency leave. We don't have much time. We want Dusty served with divorce papers. But most important, we want to make sure that she can't get her hands on Christine. You in agreement on this? Uh, yes, sir. Of course we agree, Harry. Now, he has to go back to Hawaii, and Christine is far better off with us until the divorce is final. <laughs> well, if you're all in accord, then I will, uh, I'll have both the divorce agreement and the, um... Temporary custody. And the paper's drawn up granting your parents temporary custody of little Tara Christine. As long as you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. 
Chrissy belongs with us, where she loved and cared for. You're not right, Nanny's girl. Yeah. Supposed to be doing that? Good for me. Keeps my blood thin. Mama tells me you ain't been feeling so good. Yeah, well, I'm not getting any younger, son. As long as I can still go fishing, all is well with God's world. What happened, Daddy? What do you mean? I mean, you ain't old, but you acted. I'm real sorry about your marriage, son. But I'm glad you got away from here. May I ask you a question, son? Sure. Do you still love that woman? Well, of course I love her. Then no matter what your mother or your grandmother or anybody else thinks, if you still love her, if she still excites you, and you get back with her and stay the hell away from hell. But you're my family. And we will always be so. But you have your own family now, son. You have a daughter and a wife. Oh, son, don't you think I had plans when we started out? Hell yes, I had my dream. But before we knew what was going on, your grandmother swooped down on us with the promise of all this free land, a free house, and a secure future. All of that stuff for our freedom. I do believe we have a future gymnast in the family. Come on, baby. Oh, I think she's going to be so happy here. Tomorrow we're going shopping. She needs a new wardrobe. Look, uh, Mama, uh, don't get too settled. I think I'm going to go back and try to work things out with Dusty. What? Son. You made a mistake. We all do. If you go back to that woman, you won't be the only one paying for your mistake. It'll be Chrissy, too. I'm sorry, Mama. It's OK, baby. You want to stay with Nana? so much in a mirror. And if he was a little younger, you wouldn't need to spend so much time in front of him. Give me the lavender. I'll get it. That's Rocky. Tell him to keep his pants on. I'll be out in a minute. That's Rocky. He'll already have his pants off. Justy says, I better keep your pants on. 
Oh. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Dusty? Got a surprise package here. And I bet it's wrapped just as tight as can be. Wow, Dusty. You, uh, you sure know how to put it together. Look, I left you a note saying I'd call, so, um, if you don't mind, this is kind of a bad time. I need to talk with you. Yeah, well, we can do that on the phone. I, uh, wasn't expecting you to move out. Oh, you weren't? Well, then, what's that about, Chris? Your lawyer makes it very clear you want a divorce, you got it. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. Did you bring Christine back with you? I figured we'd work things out first. Well, uh, you bring Christine back, and then maybe we'll work things out. But in the meantime, you keep your hands to yourself. I'm your husband. Well, then, what do you got in your hand, Chris? It was a mistake, all right. Dusty, I look at you and it's like nothing else matters. That's very sweet, honey. But the fact is, I'm doing just fine without you. Better, in fact. For the first time in a long time, I'm having a little fun. Yeah, well, you're my wife and you plan on having any fun, it's gonna be with me. Sweet boy. <laughs> I don't need you for fun. I don't need you for anything. I got new friends, a job. What the hell kind of job? With a refined woman on the other side of the island, Mrs. Vogel. And she happens to think I'm highly qualified. Uh, Dusty, the only thing you look qualified for is sitting on a bar stool with your skirt up over your head. Well, that shows what you know. I happen to work on an estate Miss Vogel breeds dogs, and she trusts me enough to take care of them. Wait, wait you, you take care of her dogs? Mm hmm And her birds. <laughs> you clean up after her dogs. Dusty, Rocky's here. Who's Rocky? He's a man. A man who don't think of his mama every time he climbs into bed with me. Baby, you okay? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's just go, okay? Hey, these are yours. And they're legal. Let me tell you something else. You ain't getting squat from me. You think you can live off what you get paid scooping up after a pack of dogs? No. You ain't nothing but trash. Hey, who are you calling oh, trash? Huh? <laughs> Save it, you baby. You crazy? <laughs> he ain't worth it. You know what, Chris Brown? I wish he was dead. I wish I could put on a pretty black dress and pretend to grieve all over your dead body. I had to teach you a lesson, boy. You don't mind my saying so. You're a damn fool. You're the wife of a Marine, and the Marines got certain expectations, other women. And as ridiculous as it may sound, fidelity is one of them. Look who's talking. <laughs> well, tell her. She ought to know. Look, when I got tired of Stuart, I figured, hell, dump him. Get a divorce, right? Get support. Hang on to his benefits, and I'd be a free woman of leisure. Only Stuart got himself a lawyer. And I found out it don't work that way. You get a divorce, honey. The only one who sees any benefits is little Chrissy. You get nothing. What do you mean I get nothing from his wife? It don't matter. Only way a wife gets a Marine's benefits is if she's his widow. Mm-hmm. That's right. You'll be out in your butt, like me. 
depending on the kindness of strangers, as it were. <laughs> Or you make sure you got someone to take up the slack. <laughs> you get yourself another Marine with benefits. Hell, I can't stand the one I'm with. Widow? That's the ball game. Well, then I wish she was dead. You do not. No, I do. I wish the son of a bitch was dead. gonna happen to me. I count on you. I can't keep paying right here. I mean, Patty ain't helping, and uh, we've already been threatened with eviction. Besides, well, I was kind of counting on us moving in together. Hmm, maybe getting married. Honey, I gotta put that on hold. No, but... It's only six months. Six months. Where you going? Where you going? Rocky, I got some thinking to do. I mean, um, maybe we're moving a little too quick here. Maybe Chris and I should. Dusty. Well, I was figuring on being with you. Six months, that's a long time. I gotta have some place to live. Somebody to. Yeah, well, with you gone, I mean, the only one I got left is Chris. Hey. He's divorcing you. Remember that? Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong about that. And Chris, he ain't so bad sometimes. I ain't never letting you go back to him. You hear me? I don't want to, honey. But what else can I do? So tonight's your big night, huh? I don't know. She says she wants to stop by and talk about getting back together. Kind of out of the blue, isn't it? Who knows? Maybe she can't live without me.
Dusty? Girls moving up. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Um, Mary, it's it's a Dusty. Dusty. It's it's a, about Chris. Yes. Dusty, what is it? Oh, God. Oh, he's been murdered. What are you talking about? Stabbed in his apartment. There were 26 stab wounds all over his body. And his thumb, his right thumb was, was... Jack. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> He was going to make you dinner? Yeah. We are going to talk about getting back together. Was that, um... Was that his idea or yours? Both, I guess. You've been separated before? We had trouble, but we could have worked it out. Sure. Any boyfriends? I loved Chris. No boyfriends? No. Of course not. Was he, uh... Was he seeing anyone? Yeah, I think so. Well, there were these rumors. There was someone married woman. Do you know her name? Smith or something. Smith. Something like that. Here, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Breakfast is ready, honey.
does take called again. She says they think they have a suspect. Who? A Corporal Smith. Bob Smith. She says Chris was having an affair with his wife. I don't believe it. She asked for money. What? She says she has no money. Until things are settled, she has nothing to live on. Mama, what am I gonna do without him? I wanna die, Mama. I just wanna die. I know, baby. I know. Mrs. Brown, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're talking about. You're the investigating officer. And I'm telling you, ma'am, we have no suspect in custody. At this moment, we have no suspect, period. Then where would she get that information? Unless she was lying. I don't know. I want a copy of the autopsy report. Certainly. The autopsy scheduled for tomorrow. Lieutenant, there must have been one already. No, ma'am. If there's been no autopsy yet, how would my son's wife know about the number of stab wounds? About his thumb? I will look into that. Mrs. Brown, let me assure you, my main priority right now is finding your son's killer. Lieutenant, she's here. Show her in. Mrs. Brown, I apologize. I've got an appointment. But I promise I will keep you informed. Have a seat, Miss Carlin. I don't want to. Have a seat, please. Thank you. Oh. Coffee? No. Look, I don't have to be here, you know. You got no right just to order me. Oh, to... well, were you ordered? Ma'am, I am sorry. It was meant as a request. Yeah, well. You know, Miss Carlin, no, I got a dead Marine, young kid, you know, one of us. And I figure the way he was killed, well, I mean, whoever did it must have known him real well, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't say. And since you've been living with his widow for some time now, I figure either you're a good source of information or you're an accessory. Are you nuts? Sit down, please. The hell I will. I'm a civilian. You can't order me around. You can't do anything to me. Well, ma'am, you're right. Carlin is your married name, correct? When I was married, yeah. And before that, and Slater, Hutchins. Did you ever work a club in Honolulu called the Lollipop Bar? Whatever you got there, I'm still a civilian, and the damn Marines can't do nothing to a civilian. Again, ma'am, you are correct. But the damned Marines can, Miss Carlin, certainly turn this over to the proper civilian authorities for their handling. Sit down, please. Thank you. You gonna write me? I don't think that's such a good idea, Rocky. I'm gonna be on deployment for six months. I know. But we'll catch up when you get back. Okay. I love you. I know that. Mm. I know. I miss you. Let's see. Attention, please. Matt's flight from Manila will be leaving in 15 minutes. Give me an escort to the airstrip. Once he takes off, we can't catch him until he reaches Manila. Where's he gonna go, sir? He can't jump out of a plane over the middle of the Pacific. Sergeant, this murder was committed in bare feet less than 24 hours ago. Well, chances are we can still find traces of blood on those feet. We need him now. Go. Cross-check and prepare for takeoff. You see, the problem...
problem with women in this day and age is like they got no uh, sense, you know, of the future. You know what I mean? She's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. But you can't see on the picture, you know, you see in here. Tell you, she planned my future. I love her. You Private Jackson? Yes, sir. Oh. Jackson, would you take your shoes off for me? However you feel about her, that doesn't mean she was involved with this. Why don't you care? Oh, please. We don't need any more trouble. Please. Let me have this check. It's the one thing that's keeping me alive. I don't see why there has to be a trial at all. He's guilty, he admits it. It's not a question of whether he killed your son, but how and why. Bless you. Thank you. He's pleading self-defense. The court-martial will determine self -defense. whether... Self-defense, let him say that to my face. As a possible witness, you won't be allowed in the courtroom during the trial. A witness room is set aside for you and the others. As Chris's mother, I have every right to be in that courtroom. No, ma'am, you don't. You do. <laughs> have you bothered to take anything for that? Uh, just one of life's miseries, ma'am. So is this. Quite honestly, Captain, I don't think the NIS is doing its job. A suspect has been arrested and is being brought to trial. Only one of them. Mrs. Brown, we don't have any jurisdiction over civilians. Now, even if we suspected your son's wife of conspiracy, we couldn't touch her. 
Maybe you can't, but I can. <laughs> Heaven's sake! A lollipop bar. He's also a dealer. Drugs. The girls know him well. And Chris and Dusty spent a lot of time there. Why? Mrs. Brown. <clears throat> Chris wasn't an angel. Are they here for the prosecution or the defense? I don't know. Is it true, Mrs. Brown, that you were involved with Private Jackson at the time of your husband's murder? We were friends. Do you sleep with all your friends? Objection. Not at the murder. They asked her if she had a boyfriend. She said no. Well, hell, we know she had a boyfriend. Rocky. <clears throat> How do you explain Private Jackson? having a key to Private Brown's apartment. One key? Hell, I heard she had several keys made. When Chris was on float, she used that apartment like a motel room. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Rocky refuses to implicate Dusty in any way. He claims he loves her, and my guess is he's trying to protect her. Captain, he can claim he loves her all he wants, and God knows I don't know what's going on in that boy's brain. But let me ask you something. If he took the stand mm -hmm. and he implicated Dusty, what would that tell you? Conspiracy. Premeditation, Captain. Now, I have done a lot of reading on victims' rights, and I can tell you one thing for sure. If he admits that she planned this, then he's admitting premeditation. And that means he could hang. Now, maybe he loves his neck more than he loves Dusty. Maybe. If they were in it for the money, they're going to be mighty disappointed. What do you mean? I put a court-ordered stop on the insurance and benefits. <clears throat> Here. Take this. Please. I'll be down in a minute. I'll be right back. You got me evicted. <laughs> I did no such thing. You stopped all of Chris's benefits. I got no money coming in. How do you expect me to live? Whether you live or not is of no concern to me. How you live is, and I will not have you living off my son's death. So you just come over here to glow? I am enjoying a certain degree of satisfaction. Seems you have no problem finding men to take care of you. He's helping me move. Into his place? Look, Mother Brown, no matter what you think, I did not kill your son. I loved Chris. I tried to make it work. We were going to get back together. Tell me something. Is it denial or deception that guides your life? You think Chris deserves someone better? Someone more to your choosing? Well, let me tell you, Mother Brown, Chris was no Boy Scout. He abused me, and he abused our daughter. Chris would never strike that child. He would, and he did. Now, you can do what you will, but you ain't gonna take Christine. Dusty, you will never see her again. I am her natural mother. And I promise you, no matter what I have to do, you ain't gonna hold on to her. My dear, you have neither the brains nor the imagination to even contemplate what I might do to you. 
My hell began the night my son was murdered. Your hell is just beginning. Justice was served here, Mrs. Brown. I hope you feel some relief. Chris is sitting here. That's what I feel right now, Captain. I feel Chris. I feel his anger. I feel his terrible sadness that he will never be a part of his daughter's life. I know how difficult this must be for you. You have children, Captain? Yes, ma'am. I have a daughter. Mm. You ever promise your daughter that everything's going to be all right? Not when she skins her knee or has a nightmare or fever? Do you ever tell her, don't worry, honey, daddy's here. Everything's going to be fine. Sure. I did, too. I raised my boy to believe that his world was safe. That Mama and Daddy would make sure that everything would be all right. Well, Ralph, Rocky Jackson, and Dusty Johnson made a liar out of me. took my child and they butchered him and you want to know if I'm all right mrs. Brown you got the man who killed your son you'll never get the woman let it rest If it were your child, Cap, could you let it rest? Good day. Look over your shoulder and see who's coming down the driveway. Is that your grandma? Is she coming here? Yeah. Did I keep my promise? Looky there, let us go and see grandma. Oh, hurry, hurry. Nana. Nana's <laughs> little princess. Welcome home, darling. Thank you. I hear Papa promised you a dog. Oh, I don't know. Well, if that's what he promised you, you're gonna get it. And you know what that puppy's gonna do to you? Yeah. He's gonna kiss you all over your face, just like this. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get more kisses than any little girl could handle. Yeah. I'm gonna make it up to you, baby. Oh. Oh, I promise. All right. Listen, sister. Drinking helps everything. You gotta just let it go. My daughter is the only thing I have left in this world. She belongs to me, not to her. Try to get Christine back. That woman's gonna bring the wrath of Satan down on you. Well, the devil's been living with me a long time. And I'll be damned if I let that bitch have her. Tell me 
this place into a mausoleum. This was Chris's home. He's buried in the cemetery. This is too much. Too much what? You're taking on his death like you're the only one who cared. Oh, I'm sure you care, Jack. I'm sure the guilt weighs heavily on your mind. What are you talking about? I know if I were you, I'd find it hard to look at his picture. What in the hell are you accusing me of? Nothing. But none of these coming down. This is the only way I have to keep my son alive. And one of us has to do it, Jack. I'm afraid it falls to me since you're the one who killed him. How could you say such a thing? You signed his death warrant. But he wanted to join the Marine Corps. It was his own personal choice. He was 17 years old. He was a child. And I want him back, Jack. I want my baby back. I want him back, too. I want to tell you something else. I let him go because you're always holding on to him so hard. Forgive me, I'm very sorry, but I saw what happened to us. All our dreams died a slow death because your mother could not let go. When I loved you and I stayed here for you and it killed me. And I was afraid it was gonna kill Chris too, but you're right. He would be alive today if it wasn't for me. And I wish I was dead because of it. This baby needs you, Jack. She needs us. And I need you. You never have before. Jack, she did, she did, and we're gonna prove it together. Morning, sir. Morning. Mr. Brown? Yes, sir. This is for you. Thank you. Here you go, sweetheart. All right. And brown sugar and raisins. All right. All right. Man. Looks like Dusty got herself a loyal. Huh? She wants the baby back. Now. temporary guardianship. And the only way you're gonna make that permanent is by proving her an unfit mother. And that's gonna be tough, unless you're worried against hers. Now, Chris told us that he found that baby sitting in our own... excrement. If you'll excuse the expression. He'll say. What all do we have to do? Well, let me run a background check. What's her maiden name? 
Charlene Johnson. Family? Well, we know there's a sister over in Ada, Oklahoma. Okay. You two sit tight. I'll run a check, see what we can find out. I'm not gonna sit tight. You tell me what we need, I'll find it. Mary, Dusty was legally married to your son. She is Tara Christine's natural mother. To my knowledge, she has not been charged with any crime. And she has no record. And there is no documented evidence of abuse. What you are going to need, Mary, is a miracle. Officer Stone speaking here. Who's speaking now? Miss Mary Brown. Miss Brown, how you doing? Fine, partner, just fine. And how's that little boy of yours? Oh, much better, thanks. Uh, what can I do you for? Parker, uh, suppose a private citizen uh, wanted to get some background information on another private citizen in another state, of course. Would that be done? Well, like what? Oh, Birth certificate, driving record, credit, things like that. Well, for a lot of that stuff, you need a court order or... Oh, well, that'd be too much trouble. Wouldn't be worth it. All right, then, Parker. Thank you. I'll try something else. Well, hold on there, Miss Brown. Maybe I can help you. What specifically you got in mind? Dog. Parker, meet Bubba. <laughs> you sure do love that little girl, don't he? Parker. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Listen, I did some tracking for you. I don't know if it's gonna do you much good. As far as the Charlene Johnson goes, there ain't much. Uh, just some teenage stuff, and she kind of disappears. What does that mean? Well, the next thing I got on was just a couple of tickets issued to uh, Charlene Forrest. Uh, Charlene Johnson Forrest. Thank you, Parker. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Brown, you only have one child, is that right? Yes, sir. Tara Christine Brown, is your only child. Yes, sir. The name Forrest mean anything to you? Forrest, like um, woods or? No, ma'am. I mean, Forrest, like your first husband. You were married before, weren't you, Mrs. Brown? Mrs. Brown? Briefly. It was nothing. I try to forget about it. I bet you do. Seems like you forgot about your first child, too. So now I'm going to ask you again. Is Tara Christine Brown your only child? I thought you meant by my marriage to Chris. Chris and I have only one child. Forget what you thought I meant and answer the question. Do you have another child? Yes, sir. A daughter. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And where is this child, Mrs. Brown? Where is this, this first daughter of yours? With, with her father. And why is that? Why is your first child like your second child? Not with you. Because your first husband was granted sole custody, isn't it? Isn't it? 
Yes. Because you abandoned her. Is that not correct? Objection. No further questions. You gonna give Bubba a kiss? Yeah. Okay. Come on, Bubba. Get over here and give the baby a kiss. Give him a kiss. Oh, good. Should Papa give Bubba a kiss? Yeah. Okay. Here, Bubba has a kiss from Papa. Yeah. Should Nanny give Bubba a kiss? Yeah. I think so, too. Your uh -huh. turn. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Nice, right, Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> now you're ready to go to sleep. No. No? Well, I'm ready to go to sleep. If you think that I am going to stand out in that yard and call for Bubba, you're out of your mind. Oh, honey, I am surprised that you... Bubba is a fine southern name with a long tradition. Thank you. For all your help for standing by me. Well, we still got our little Chrissy, and that's what is important. We don't have to fight dust anymore. Just let it go, and God will take care of it. I do feel some kind of peace, finally. Maybe you're right. Let go and let God. Mm -hmm. Man, you stick one of these under a rabbit and bam! You got rabbit stew. Albert, quit it. Well, Dusty, we need just a little excitement around here. Hell, since you got back from Alabama, you ain't been worth squat. Look, you want excitement, Talbot? Then do what I'm asking and you'll get all the excitement you can handle. It's a dumb idea and you're too dumb to carry it off. Well, that's why I need you, Talbot. You're the brains. <laughs> You know, I can stick your head in a bucket and blow that up, too. How's your back, honey? You know damn well. You can only milk that back for so long. Disability folks are gonna catch up with you sooner or later, find out you've been working day jobs off the books, and then what? You've been ragging on me since Easter. I've had enough of it. We get Chrissy here. Live off of daddy's benefits. Insurance, social security. Our worries be over. Here, honey. So if we do this thing, you'll do exactly as I say. No questions, no arguments. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Baby, you look a little tired. I think it's time for a nasty nap. <laughs>
she asleep? Mm -hmm. Evening. Evening. I'm sorry to trouble you folks, but I got myself a flat. How can we help? Well, I, I don't have a spare, sir, and I... Well, we got nothing that'll fix that. God, I hate to trouble you, but is there a, is there a, a phone anywhere around here? Well, there's uh, one about four or five miles from here. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey!